1 Peter 5, 8 says, The devil is seeking whom he may devour. Join Don Allen as he looks to make you undevourable. Thank you for giving me seven minutes of your day to make you undevourable. I'm your host, Don Allen. Well, let me just start by saying this. The time is now. Now, I'm talking to anybody who's listening to this program right now. Don't think it's just coincidence that you're hearing this program right now. God has a plan for you. Yes, you, and it's a right now plan. John 2, verses 9 and 10, we know this story. Jesus was at a wedding party. He had just turned the water into wine, and the servants just sent that out to the party. And it says this, When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made to wine, and he knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, Every man at the beginning does set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. Friends, we have heard this quoted wrong for years. We've always heard this story, and the preacher always says, God saved the best for last. Well, guess what? That's not what it says. It says he saved the best for now. Come on, somebody, listen. He saved the best for now. There was a pouring out at the feast, right? The the ruler was at the table. It was all set up. It was ready. He's looking around at, hey, what could be poured out into the people? And it would seem like that there was nothing. It was dried up. Come on, isn't that where we're at today in society? It would seem like it's dried up spiritually. What was working at the beginning wasn't supplying the right now. See, the ruler had used all the name brand stuff at the beginning, right? And it's not that it wasn't good. The people drank it up. But now as we're nearing the end of this feast, he's looking around realizing, well, you know, the party ain't over. There's still people here. I'm needing something to to pour out right now. I, I don't need something tomorrow. I need something to pour into the people right now. See, we're always looking at the name brand ministers, right? We, we've left this to those, the, the big money, those that have the big names, the big ministries. Well, that's all good. And you know what? It had its time at the beginning of the feast. Think about this. And listen to me. It might just be the way that I'm seeing this, but I really believe, you know, the bigger ministries out there, you know, the ones with all the the new stuff and the great big churches and the millions of dollars, that's all good. They were all part of an outpouring, and it seems like they've shifted into ministering to the body of Christ more than ministering to the world, right? I mean, they hold believers meetings and big conferences and huge services, and it's mostly believers that come, and that's okay. But now that that has kind of dried up, and what I mean is there's still a whole bunch of people thirsting at the feast. I'm not talking about it being these ministries' faults, like, they, like they're done. But the world right now, they're not drinking of that. They're looking at what is at the feast right now. What do you have for me now? You and I have to be that outpouring for the world. Come on, I'm talking about you today. God steps in through his son Jesus, and he takes something so common. Come on, am I talking to somebody today? He's taken something so common. So ordinary, right? It's, it's just viewed as bland. It's a non-name brand. It's not the popular wine on the shelf. It's not even on the radar. He takes something that has been there the whole time, and he takes water, and he turns it into what was needed for an outpouring. And this ruler says, wow, you have saved the best for right now. And in the last days, God says, I'm pouring out of my spirit upon all flesh. These are the, Listen, I know there's pots out there sitting right now listening filled with the ordinary, and Jesus is looking to come in because the time is now, and he's about to turn water into wine into somebody, and and I'm going to tell you that people won't be able to get enough of it. I'm not talking about wine. I'm talking about you. He saved the best for now. He's looking for you. You are the great outpouring. You are the one that God is looking to use at the end of this feast. He's setting the table. The other wine... It's just not working. Now I'm talking about for the world. Admit it. We have more access to Christian TV, Christian radio, some of the largest churches I've ever seen. More books, more Facebook ministries, and yet people are still dry. The world is still thirsting. People are thirsting. It's because they're looking for the best that was saved for now. And God had you born for such a time as this to be a vessel for the master's use. And he's looking to fill you today, my friends. Fill those pots to the brim, and it's what you're going to put in today that God is looking to use right now. Filled. The Bible says over in Ephesians, be being filled with the Spirit of God. We have to be filled. Now, there's no waiting. Now is the time because the feast table is set, the party ain't over, the guests are invited. And if you've ever been to a party, well, you know if the drinks quit flowing, the people start leaving. And the people have come to the party at church 
and the drinks just didn't flow and they left. They came to the TV show and the drinks weren't flowing and they left. God's looking to use you today to bring a drink that'll cause them to never thirst again. They're looking for a drinking buddy. Don't short yourself on this. God's looking at you. He's looking at, he's not looking at what it is you don't have. He's looking to use what it is that you do have and he's going to take it. And it takes all kinds to reach all kinds. God's looking at you right now today and he's checking the levels. He's seeing what's in there. He's going to take what it is in the natural, and he's going to add his super to it, and you're about to be the supernatural outpouring for somebody who's dying of thirst, and that outpouring of God's Spirit, it's going to come through you, and it's going to bring life to them. You may be the only one. Please let that sink in. You may be the only one. I was approached by all kinds of people through the years that tried to lead me to Christ, but it took the right one, the right flavor of wine, if you will, and maybe, just maybe, maybe you're that flavor for somebody. We got to get the wells filled, my friend. We we need the well filling. You got to fill up. You got to fill up that well on the inside of you because there's coming a day that God's going to open up that tap and the rivers of living water are going to flow out of you. And on that day, on that day, what comes out is only what was put in. And this world needs you to be just as filled as you can because the time is upon us now. The earth is dry. People are dying and God is tapping into you and out of that tapping out of you, not somebody else. I'm talking about you. The people of the world, they're not seeking the name brand ministries, right? They're just looking for a drinking buddy. They're looking for you. Out of what's on the inside of you, someone's going to be able to receive that life-giving spirit of God. They're going to be able to receive healing and deliverance and forgiveness, and it's going to quench that thirst that's on the inside of them. It's that refreshing, and it's going to make you and them undevourable. God bless you, my friends. Thanks for listening. If you would like more information and resources on how to be undevourable, we invite you to check out our website. Go to www.twoguysandabible.com. That's T-W-O, guysandabible.com. You can also contact Don Allen directly for prayer. His email address is don at twoguysandabible.com. Telephone is 573-216-1871.